use up all of your soap scraps. I got this big fella. Isn't this so cute for... I hope it looks awesome. everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie from The Farmhouse Mom. I upload every Tuesday and Friday. We are one day behind this week. Um, it's election week and so we uploaded a video on Wednesday and this will be coming to you on a Saturday. So for this video, we will be making confetti soap. Confetti soap is a way um, to use up all of your soap scraps that you might have left over. If you shave your soaps down with a vegetable peeler and you know try to make them look pretty, and you can see that in my previous video. This is all the scraps left over from our Christmas soaps. And also in that video, we had a very ugly soap that did not <laughs> turn out um, looking very pretty. So I went ahead and chopped that up and made really fine squares. And so we are going to use this in our rebatching of our soaps. I think what I've decided to do is just make a nice charcoal soap. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start pouring our soaps. I made a half batch of my oils and a full batch. So this is gonna be a 500 gram soap and this is a 1000 gram soap. We're gonna use that for our ugly soaps. You're gonna to have to go um, play for just a little bit until I get the lye poured, okay? Because I'm ready to pour the lye. And then I'll call you over when we're done. Okay. All right, so let's start with our 500 gram soap. And you can look at my previous videos. I have several different um, recipes that I use. And I am working on my website where I'll have all of those recipes up. It's just taken a little bit longer than I thought, but um, I should have it up by December, by the end of the year, my website, thefarmhousemom.com. All right, so let's go ahead and get our safety equipment on and my lye is in the sink. And we are going to pour our first soap. And then once I get this mixed up, I'll bring you over so you can see. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of our activated charcoal first. You can see how black that is too. All right, so this is our half batch. It's really easy to be distracted while you're making soap, which is how we ended up with this ugly soap because I'm trying to, you know, keep everything straight and then also explain it to you guys. So I'm gonna talk this out to myself. So we have our 500 gram soap and we're gonna go ahead and get our lye. So I'm gonna gently pour that in. And I usually always strain my lye just to make sure there's no pieces of lye in there that did not get dissolved. A couple of short bursts. So we have a little bit of a trace, but I'm really guilty of over mixing it. All right, I'm gonna bring you over and let you watch the rest of it. So here is our, yep, and we're already coming to a little bit of a trace here. So we're just gonna dump in our soap scraps. It's a little bit of peppermint, a little bit of frosted fur. I think those will mix well. I hope this turns out really beautifully. I saw um, another soap maker do this with black soap and it was so awesome almost kind of like a galaxy look all right let's go ahead and pour this I hope it doesn't all settle to the bottom I don't think it will all right we're done with this so I'm going to Get my other soap. And this one I'm afraid might take up two of these. So we'll see, we'll try to pour it evenly.
so we are done with our soap pouring for the day and now we are going to go do a little bit of thrifting and I'm going to take you to my building that my friend and I own. We're having um, an antique day tomorrow in the town and so she usually does a really pretty job of putting everything up. So let me show you that and I'll show you where I sell my soap and then we'll cut the soap for you. Before we went thrifting, I made Jackson some sourdough mac and cheese. I had some dough left over from the previous night in the refrigerator and something that I love and use all the time is this Hoosier Hill Premium cheddar cheese mix and I will leave the link in the description box but um, it tastes just like regular mac and cheese and it's colored with turmeric and annatto it does not have anything artificial in it I put it on popcorn for the kids it I use it all the time it's awesome and then for myself I've really been kind of struggling with energy lately so I made a kefir and bee pollen protein shake so after we made the soap we went thrifting yesterday but we also went thrifting today so three times a year our small town has antique days and um, all the stores in town are open let me show you my little building that my friend Leslie and I own and that's where I sell my goat milk soap so all the beauty that you see here is Leslie she's very talented and um, she really decorates it really nicely and then I teach fitness bar or whatever I feel like teaching I teach that in the back So today was our Christmas show. So I'm gonna show you the stuff that we got yesterday, just at our regular thrift stores, and then I'll show you what we got today. All right, so we got some Christmas linens. I think I got this for 50 cents. That that was really cute. And then this, I really love this linen. This is um, a really pretty, I think this was 75 cents. I'm here if you're showing. Okay. And let me show you one part of that dinosaur. Okay. And then I got another vintage linen for 50 cents. And then for Jackson, I got this 100% cotton vintage um, pillowcase for Christmas time. And then we got a little Scooby-Doo game for him for 25 cents. Do you want to show the dinosaurs, Jackie? So how many dinosaurs did you get? One, two, three, four, five. Five di dinosaurs for $1.50, good job. Okay, why don't you go play with them in the front room? and then I'm gonna finish showing what we got, okay? I got this beautiful crystal Fostoria um, bowl for 15 cents, and then I don't think this is Fostoria. I don't remember what this is, but I got this for 25 cents. That'll be really beautiful. I'm gonna use this for butter on the table, but it's a really pretty snowflake pattern. Um, I think this is anchor hawking, I'm not sure. But I got that for $2, I think. We got some snow for a dollar. I got this vintage um, 1970s hand-painted Santa for $2. And you know we're having a thrifted Christmas, and so I got this checker and chess set for $2. I have bought games, I hate buying anything new. Um, it's such poor quality, but these are exactly the chess and checker set that I remember having as a kid. So this is gonna be a Christmas gift for the boys. And my most exciting thing is I got this big fella for $5. So um, there is a YouTube channel that I saw called Pine and Prospect and she got a big ceramic turkey and she bronzed it so she spray painted it um, black and then she took rub and buff which i have both of those things so i was thinking about bronzing it but i don't know it's so pretty i'm gonna try to decorate the fireplace and the hutch for thanksgiving this weekend um so i might just keep it as it is but hers was really pretty 
I got this beautiful Anchor Hawking Fire King casserole dish for a dollar. I got these brand new house shoes for $2 and we were gonna buy that for Christmas gifts for each other anyway, so I just saved myself some money on that. I got this vintage made in the USA wrapping paper for 25 cents each. And that's everything we got yesterday, so today, I got this vintage Foley made in the USA flower sifter for a dollar. And I got this stunning vintage crystal um, dish for a dollar. And I got these really beautiful vintage, look at that, they even has the price tag on. I got these beautiful um, seven inch night before Christmas, Christmas plates, cheese platters, and I got those for a dollar each. I'm thinking about giving one each to my stepdaughters, um, if they might like it, or maybe my nieces also have their own house this year, so. I got three of them, they were so cute. I thought it would be a really cute gift. And I got this stunning crystal relish tray for $2. Look at this stunning vintage pitcher. It is so heavy. Um, it is gorgeous. I got this for a dollar. I got two of these for a dollar each. And even if I just wind up putting um, Christmas ornaments in them, they're so pretty. But I also really feel like they would be beautiful to serve um, mashed potatoes. I always make like a Brussels sprout dish for Christmas. So I thought those would be really pretty. Even just to put rolls or something in. And then I also got this. It is so beautiful, a really nice, gorgeous garland. I got about 50 feet of it. And then this really um, beautiful garland as well. And I got this for the farm gate, but I got all of that for $5 and I can't wait to hang that up. And I got this Corningware casserole. I cannot forget this. <laughs> I got this beautiful vintage cashmere coal got this for two dollars and it fit me pretty well i don't know if i'm gonna keep it but isn't this so cute isn't this so cute for christmas time okay that is all the stuff we got from the thrift store and now we are going to go ahead and cut our soaps and hopefully they come out good they come out good yeah you never know they're pretty black that's for sure well, this one's coming out pretty good. Well, that a one's bit. popping out pretty good? Yeah. All right, we'll pop it out and then we'll turn it around so they can really see us cut it. Ooh. Is that coming out good? Yeah, look at it. One done. But you can really tell the difference. This one is a little bit more gray. Yeah. And that one's a lot more black. You can really tell the difference in the amount of um, charcoal. Okay, we're gonna cut it. Here it goes. I hope it looks awesome. Oh, it's a pot. <gasps> oh my goodness. Uh, it kind of looks cool. Mom, can I have this little one? Can I have this little one? Can I? Yes. Yes. All right, here's our one with our really ugly soap that we chopped up. And the other one was with our soap bits. Might be a little easier to cut. All right, here we go. All right, let's see how this looks. Ooh, Ooh looks it actually looks pretty cool. So yeah. it's a little soft. This is our soap that we made with the frosted fur and the lingonberry um, plus peppermint shavings. If you look at my Christmas video, um, you know, just cutting them and shaving them off the side. And then this was our really ugly soap. So it looks pretty cool. And it smells really good. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Ooh, so, I can smell my black one. It smells good, huh? It smells a little bit fainter. I smell my little black but one. But after this hardens and it cures, 
I would totally sell this. This kind of almost looks like a candy corn. That would be a cool idea to do for um, Halloween yeah. next year. Yeah, so candy yeah, corn. So. And then now we have charcoal all over our fingers. Next Tuesday, I'm going to do a little bit of... Yes, you can say that. And give this video a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe, yeah. Um, but next week, I'm going to do some Thanksgiving and Christmas decorate outside and inside. And then we're also going to do some baking. I have um, Nutramil is sending me a Bosch Universal Mixer. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. They're having some awesome sales and we are going to make some sourdough loaves and lots of fun um, fall baking now that it's nice and cool here. So we will see you guys Tuesday and hope you have a great weekend.